Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links and all that beautiful stuff. You know all about that. Uh, and also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, and here we are. So we were working on this uh, this class uh, called, what was it called again? State data. Yeah, state data. So we're working on state data. And it, it kept all the data for our states when we're sending them to and from states and all that stuff. So it really helps us out in figuring out what we want to keep in this state data object, like a big box, you just send it to and from states. So that's really nice. We'll just keep this. And I actually got it to work. And one of the important things was that I had the grid size, which I then defined in game.cpp as a very constant type of thing so the grid size is 50 all right and that is hard coded into this game engine and that's not something we want to do probably uh but for now it's fine doesn't really matter uh because we're just going to be using a 50 uh 50 what do you call it pixels in height and width for each grid and then the reason we sent that in through state data is because we just want every state to know about that and especially the editor state so I'm just going to go ahead and open the editor state now. And we're going to probably have somewhere where I create the tile map. I think it's just in the H file uh, right here. So we just create the tile map, right? And it has its own hard coded. So let me just open this. We've got a bunch of files now, but don't don't worry too much. Um, so it has a let's see, it, it gets a grid size in that constructor in the other one and we set the shapes the tiles no wait this is tile bro what am i doing am i dumb are you dumb bruh am i dumb bruh here we go okay so tile map has its own grid size float here so i'm just gonna set this to 50 uh, but we're gonna start working on this a little bit so my thought is that when we get the tile map here we just want to say float grid size so that we can create a tile map out of this grid size and it's going to save that as a float and a unsigned integer and have all this stuff now all this stuff won't be here later probably we might uh, you know fix and, and play around with that so but for now we're just going to have this grid size in here and i guess the max size as well so let's just before i actually before i copy over that i should have unsigned um with unsigned height probably just put those in here so we don't have those values hard coded so you probably don't want that so width and then height and this is going to be the grid size and we'll just convert that into a unsigned integer right here and then we'll have layers so when we can probably leave that at one for now we can play around with that later now it should create the size that we want with the grid size that we want and everything should be fine in this tile map for now it should it should be okay we'll render everything out we'll work with this later so i'm just gonna go ahead and close oopsie days i'm just gonna go ahead and close everything else because my focus today is going to be the editor state in the tile map so my next step um is to create this as a pointer all right and then in the editor state dot h let's just see let's do a void init tile map all right i'm just gonna go ahead and define that as soon as it lets me camo me camo i know you wanna you know what i'm just gonna do this because it's so damn slow i don't want to run you Please don't run okay so right in here i'm just gonna do this sometimes you just gotta do it the old-fashioned way and not complain too much uh, and then we're gonna do actually gonna call this tile tile map i don't know if i wanna mm, because a map can be something else so tile map makes more sense then I want to do a few things. I want to go into the constructor for editor state, and I'm just going to say this 
init tile map. The editor state destructor is just going to go ahead and delete this tile map. All right. And then updating the map and everything. I guess we do it here somewhere. This map. Yeah, this. All that stuff. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Just give me a second here. So first of all, we want to create the tile map. Uh, this tile map equals new tile map. And then we're just going to give it all the beautiful stuff that we want. So this state data um, grid size. Okay. And then we're going to have a width of 10 and a height of 10 for now. So we'll just have a nice little tile map here. And then we're just going to fix this to this tile map render. All right, we don't have to make this all perfect and stuff, but for now, this is fine. So if we just go ahead and run this, it will probably crash and give me a lot of memory leaks and stuff. Uh, but hopefully it won't. Make sure you're in debug and everything. Okay, so let's just see what the hell happened here. All right, uh, where is the error list? Okay, here. Um, excuse me. Oh, I got to do it in, in the, the game state as well. Sorry about that. So let's just open game state. Let's do the same thing. That is a tile map. Uh, tile. Uh, tyke map. That's great. Um, tile map. So it's just set up shit that we got to do before, you know, actually being able to do stuff. Uh, so players void in it tile map. Okay, please. Thank you. All right. And then we're just going to go in here. I'm going to say this. Tile map equals new. This is in the CPP file for game state. New tile map. And the same thing. This state data grid size, which we saved. 10. 10. So we'll have to probably. Here we'll probably just not use this. We'll use a load from file type thing. Which will load anything we save into editor state. Or we can load it through an ID maybe. Um, map 1, map 2, you know, world, if you want several worlds. Uh, so we'll probably do it that way. But for now, this is fine. You know, as long as we match the editor state and the game state in sizes, we should be fine for now. And they will still be very different because we'll, we won't do the saving and loading for now. Uh, and then we're just going to do this. Whoopsie days, man. God damn, what's going on? This init tile map. And once we do the tile map, I need to see if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Um, so once we do that in a tile map, we need to make sure we delete this tile map so we don't get any memory leaks. And then we're going to have to fix all the render and stuff like that. Uh, did I name it tile map like I should have? Tile map. Yes, it just hasn't. It's just not rendering it. Okay, but that's cool. It doesn't really need to render anything. This is a good start. And we're going to have to change some stuff in editor state. So I thought before we end the video, we're probably going to have to. Or we're just going to check out what we're going to add. Uh, so here we go. New game works fine. Settings. No, settings is not important. Editor. So here we got our little tile map. Looks great. Looks really nice. Great. So there we go. Really, really nice. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to add some functions. So I'm just going to go ahead and prepare for that. We're going to do a void add tile. Okay void remove tile all right and that's just going to be two simple functions in tile map and we're just going to go ahead and define those as well uh, because we want to be able to click with the mouse add some tiles and remove some tiles wherever we click and those are going to be great i'm just going to go ahead and close game say we're not going to be working with that a lot and another thing we are, we're going to want is that in the tile map here or in the editor state, we're going to create a little SF rectangle shape. And I know a lot of you wondering, or not a lot of you, some of you, why I still use SF. That is because I don't like to um, mix namespaces and stuff. I don't want to have several different namespaces. I just use this so I don't have to, uh, so I don't get any errors from using several namespaces at once. Even though that might not be a big risk, but still, don't want to get any undefined weird errors. Uh, but if you want to use using namespaces, go ahead. You don't have to. You don't have to use the this notation. Um, but here we go. Selector. 
just gonna call it selector rect okay selector rect and we're gonna have to do a few more things a few more things in the state class which i'm gonna get to in a minute uh but here we are now we don't have any any there are the buttons there's the pause menu um let's create a function void in it gui just gui some user interface stuff so we'll do all the random gui user interface stuff in here so i'm just going to go ahead and create that function in tile map and we're going to have this selector rectangle draw uh, so this is the editor state where did i put it it was before or was it after it's before after this okay so we're just going to have this draw before we end the video and it's going to be really important for us and we're going to make a move in a grid like manner so uh this select direct dot set field color transparent uh that's just the color though before that what i'm going to do is this select direct dot set size this state data uh, grid size okay and this isn't gonna work because obviously we need a sf vector 2f vector 2f and we're just gonna do a copy of that like this so we're gonna have it be the size of one grid cell okay and once that is a size of a grid cell we're gonna set the fill color to transparent we're gonna do this select direct dot set outline thickness to 1.f this select direct set outline color and this is something we're gonna play around with so if we're deselecting deleting we're gonna change the color of the outline to notify what we're trying to do so fsf color green can be our default just chill out color uh, set align color green and there we go then we're gonna need a function called um, so we have update update buttons void update GUI just all random updating GUI stuff that doesn't need to be all that specific so there we go let's go into the CPP again let's call this update GUI after after we're updating mouse position so if it's not paused i'm just going to do this update gui update the buttons and then pause is a whole different story uh, and i'm going to put that right before is it again is it before no it's after buttons hmm okay after buttons editor state editor state there we go and all i'm going to do in here is this select direct dot set position this mouse post view like that so i'm just going to put it follow the mouse basically um very simple right now it's not the final thing uh it's not going to be that way but it you'll see how it will work in the next video most probably so there we go then we got to render it as well so i'm just going to create another function in editor state here and i'm going to call it void render gui and then the target as well i guess we need the target i'm not sure but yeah okay why not uh copy that Put it right down here and i just want to make sure this works and if it does we should be fine uh target dot draw this select direct and then we're going to call it in here as well if it's not paused this render gui target in case we want to do it on a different target that's why we have that parameter there and then uh, yeah we should be we should be fine we should be fine update input editor state okay so let's just see what's going on 
and that should only happen in the editor state um, wait what let us see so we had the update GUI being called select direct dot set position this mouse position view did we do in a GUI no I think I forgot this in a GUI in here that is why so let's just try this one more time I think it should be fine yeah so we got our little selector rectangle here and it's not gonna work like this we're gonna have it move in a grid basis so we can kinda select different tiles and stuff and uh, yeah we're just gonna go from there and keep working so we'll, hopefully it should be fine in the next video thank you so much for watching sticking with me um, hope you're doing great and everything and uh, yeah I will just keep working with all this tedious stuff slash fun stuff we'll see how it goes hopefully we'll get into some more map saving and loading some textures and stuff soon uh, but until now we've been working with some kind of boring GUI stuff but I hope that's okay anyway keep working hard take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye